Hi everybody, my name is Cindy Ellers. I'm located in the central part of Wisconsin and I'm also a independent stamping up demonstrator and have been for the last 10 years and counting. I have to tell you, this is the best part-time job I've ever had. And while I wait for people to hop on, I am two minutes early, but that's okay. It's just a great way for me to get myself set up and um, welcome to Cindy's Stamping Studio. Uh, I hope everybody is having a good Monday. Uh, it is very windy here today, so I'm hoping that that doesn't make a big difference with my uh, Facebook Live tonight. Um, be sure to share my post, leave me a comment, hit the like key, I appreciate all those things. Ah, I see I got Sally Becker just hopped on. Welcome, Sally. I'm so glad that you were waiting for me. I know sometimes I start a little bit early, but there's just so much stuff to um, remember. There, there I am. And... Um, got me set up on my Kindle, so that's good. So be sure to leave me... Be sure to share my post, leave me a comment, and hit the like key. When you leave me a comment, you get automatically entered into my weekly door prize. And um, I keep track of all those. So, yeah. Um, if you're not, if you don't have a chance to watch this video on Facebook, I do uh, upload it to my blog, which is also called Cindy Stamping Studio. And um, by just subscribing, hi, Linda Hodge, thanks for joining, welcome. Uh, when you subscribe to my blog, which is Cindy Stamping Studio, you'll notice on the right-hand side um, a place to follow me by email. When you enter your email address and finish the subscription, you will get my post automatically sent to you. And um, I always, I post a lot of cards, and I hope you can get inspiration from them. Uh, let's see, what else? I also have a YouTube channel, and that's located under Cindy Ellers. You can also find all of my videos if you want to check that out. I appreciate all of your support, and like I said a little bit ago, this is the best part-time job I've ever had because I'm doing something I truly enjoy. So, okay, what do I have going on, you wonder? Well, tonight being October 5th, this is my number 33 Facebook Live. We're going to be using the stitched leaves die, which is part of the bundle of the Love of Leaves, which Love of Leaves I did a card with about August this year. But I have the best card picked out tonight to use that I just couldn't resist um, using just the dies. And I think you're going to enjoy it. After I got done with the card, I thought, oh, this is nice. This turned out great. So, yeah. Um, what else we have going on? Uh, Stamping Up has a designer series paper where you can get 15% off. I also have a new October host code. Hi, Judy Vine and Karen Stetzer. I don't know if I ever get your name right, Karen, but I try. Um, and also, the other thing we got going on is don't forget about our card challenge. When I flip my card, my phone around, I'll show you all of this. And um, everybody is welcome to uh, enter our card challenge. It goes from now until November 1st, at which time I'll post all the cards that I got and we get to vote on them. The winner will get some really cool prizes that our fellow stamper Bernie Seidel went and came up with. Hi, Ronnie Kayser Smith. Thank you for joining me. I haven't seen you around for a while and this is just great to see you now. So, now that we have quite a few people hopped on, I want to go and flip my camera around and um, 
let's get started. Okay, so just hold on. First, make it go outside. Okay. Now we're going to make it go down. And let's... Move it a little closer. Closer. Hi, Linda Bodie. Thank you for watching. Welcome. Okay. Like I said, I have a new host code for... Get this tightened up. I have a new host code for October. It's right here. RZZMQ4J. And what I was talking to you about just a little bit ago was our card challenge. And this is the card that I demonstrated back in July. And uh, Bernie liked it so much, she came up with a brainstorm. Let's have a card challenge uh, featuring the double dutch, double dutch barn door fold. Like I said, anybody can go and enter. This is what the card looks like. Very easy. Really, it is. It looks more complicated than it is. If you would be interested in joining us, there's only two rules. That you use stamping up materials and it be a Christmas card. This is the sunflower, but no, we want Christmas. And um, just email me at buddy98 at yahoo.com, B-U-D-Y 98 at yahoo.com. I will email you the instructions. And then you have your choice. You can go and um, you can uh, take a picture of it yourself. Or you can go and um, send me the card. And I'll take a picture of it. So after we're all done, there was talk of donating the cards to like a assisted living home. And spreading the our stamping joy with those people so don't forget about this the other thing we have going on is what i mentioned the designer series paper sale 15 percent off want to stock up and save they have some beautiful hi arliss thanks for joining we have some beautiful papers that are 15% off, and it's not just from the big catalog. We have some from the August to December catalog. This plaid tidings really surprised me that that's on sale, and I just love that. Uh, we have the some Christmas ones. We have some everyday ones. It's really a great sale. So stock up on your designer series paper. Um, you can order your paper if you go to the Stamping Up store. And I would be honored if you chose myself and um, chose myself. And uh, when you place your order and be sure to use my host code. It's right there. Hi, Bernie. Just talking about you. Was your ears on fire? We were talking about the double dutch barn door fold card don't forget get those cards made only have two rules stamping up materials and it be a christmas card they're very easy and i can send you the instructions if you'd like them uh the act being october we have the october stamp of the month your the ones to choose from is beautiful autumn which is in the August to December catalog, page 46. We have Celebration Tidings, which is a little bit of everything. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. That is on page 58 of the August to December uh, catalog. And we have Snowman Season, which is in the annual catalog on page 63. So if you're interested in participating in that, uh, send me an email with your choice. If your winning stamp set wins, it only costs $24 to get in on the fun. 
and what you get is the stamp set plus four card kit to make four beautiful cards using your new stamp set. So that's a great way to add some stamps to your stash and get started. Okay, let me see. What is next? As I mentioned, tonight's card is going to be using the stitched leaves dies. I'm going to, I've used it back in August, I used the coordinating Love of Leaves stamp set, but tonight we're going to just use the stitched leaves. Here it is. And you'll notice I have my leaves taped together. I'll show you that in a second. I use washi tape and tape them together so that when I put them on my cutting machine, they don't fall apart and they're all nicely centered. Um, if I ever wanted to, it's real easy to take them apart, but this seems to work out pretty good for me. We're also going to use the World of Good, the World of Good Designer Series paper. Now, when you get some paper, and maybe you're different than I am, sometimes I don't like every single sheet that's in that paper. And the World of Good was one of them. Yes, yeah, some of them were nice, but some of them it just didn't work for me. So I'll put a little bit more light on this, huh? So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's, let me put that aside. What I was talking about was these dies and how much you, it's just, I just love them. Um, it's quite the rage right now is the stitched part. They already come stitched, so you don't have to do it. Okay, now we can get going. Let me get my packet out. We're going to be using gold glitter enamel dots. That's found in the annual catalog. We're going to be using the subtle embossing folder. And we're going to be using our card base tonight. Our card base tonight is cinnamon cider, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We're going to have a piece of Cajun Craze is our layer tonight. And you'll notice that it's quite a bit smaller than the front of our card. That's because we're going to be using this piece of designer series paper as the original layer with the Cajun Craze over the top. And a piece of Whisper White for our inside, and a piece of scrap for our decoration. Okay, and a scrap of Bumblebee. Ah, I'm blank. What is it called? Bumblebee. Oh, Bumblebee. Okay. I was just blank for a minute. A scrap of Bumblebee. Okay. We'll put that aside. We're going to take our Cajun Craze and put it in our subtle embossing folder. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but stamping up always puts a line. And I always like to line it up just like, whoops, just like not like that. But I like to line it up. That way I know it's not too far in. There, that's not too far in. Make sure when you put it in your embossing machine, be it um, the older Big Shot or the new Stamping Up embossing machine, you always put it in with the fold going in first. When you do that, you don't have to worry about it shifting 
or having the embossing machine eat the sides or break the fold. Well, hello, Jan, joining you from the camper. Well, wow, that's nice, and I bet you have your little fireplace going. Oh, maybe not. It's supposed to be a beautiful week this week. We went and put our boat into storage today, and I see my mom is watching, so hello. And after I'm done tonight, I get to have a spaghetti supper, because my mom and dad went and picked it up from the local fire department. They're having a drive through and they went and got supper for me. So isn't that nice? As I said, we're going to go and run this through our embossing machine. Now, once that is done, we're going to take our die and put it right in the center, just like that, and run that through the machine. And we're also going to run our little leaf through the bumblebee, through the machine. When we're done, when we're done, our layer is now going to look like that. And, of course, you get this very nice leaf cut out along with the little bumblebee or gold colored leaf. Okay. Now, I want to start assembling and stamping. We're going to take our Cajun craze, and because I do use a lot of thank you cards, but you could do anything you wanted, of course, we're going to go and stamp. I wanted to try it out to see how it looked. We're going to stamp thank you right there. I'll close this up for now. Whoops. And I'm going to take my white piece, which is my inside. Oops. And using the you're the best, which comes to us from the Parcels and Petals stamp set. Just like that. That's going to be a great card. We'll take and we're going to take and put our scrap for our decoration. And then I can put that aside to dry. Yes, the fireplace is on. Well, I figured as much, huh? That's great that you're getting advantage of your camper. Our camper's in hibernation now until May, but we are gonna go visit the camper what did the husband say? We're going to go visit the camper Wednesday morning. And we have some things to take back up there. And then it's going to be up there. Um, we're going to put some cap fresh in there. And some damp rib. And then I can look at my camper one more time before we see see in the spring okay so we're going to put our layer now you're probably thinking hmm i always wondered what i should do with that layer well here you go okay so this is our layer i'm going to take some dimensions now and put that on my Cajun Craze piece just in the corners. You don't have to worry about the other part of it because you'll see in a second that that, that isn't necessary. But just like that, let's get our pokey tool and get those backings off. 
in the stamping world, this backings, they're like, you find them everywhere. And I'm sorry to say that I've even found them on the end of my beagle's nose. But of course, he's a very nosy beagle, so I'm not surprised. Okay, so we're going to go and line this up just like this. Okay, so there's your front. Now I'm going to take my leaf, more dimensions, and hi Lori Tresmer, thanks for joining me. I'm glad you did. We're going to There, just like that. So now let's take the backing off of these dimensions. I thought this was just a clever way to use up designer series paper that, eh, while it's okay, it wasn't my favorite. We're gonna go and take this and put it just like that. Now I'm going to take my bumblebee leaf and add a dimension to that. Put that there. Now we're going to put this, overlap it a little bit, just like that. Take this out of the way for a little bit. I'm going to use 8 inches of linen thread. And my scissors. Hi Kathy Brost and Paige Gregor, thanks for watching. Make sure you say hi if you'd like to get in on my door prize drawing. I'm going to take my bow tire because, as my stamping ladies all know, Cindy is not a bow person. And this is like the next best thing. And we have our bow. Put that right there. Okay, now I need a mini glue dot. To put my bow down. Just like that. We're going to go and layer that right there. Right there. And let's cut, let's trim these, let's trim these up. Almost done. Boy, this is such a fast card. I'm going to be way ahead of schedule. That's good. But all we have left is to put our gold glitter gems down. We're going to take a large one. Put it right there. And let's take a medium one. Put it right there. And let's take another medium one and put it down there. There. That turned out great. And that's our card. What a great way to use some designer series paper. Oh, i got to do the inside. What a great way to use designer series paper paper up that you might not have been interested in before. I have another card to show you because you all know that I'm looking at another card as I make this card because there's no way I would remember everything. That would make all my ladies laugh. 
Okay, so there's the inside and there's the outside. Now the card I'm looking at right now is one that I made earlier. And this is the sec this is the first card I made and um used the same used the same paper from that set that I told you about, which of course I've forgotten the name of it already. It's World of Good. It just it's pretty paper, but it's just paper I would have never probably ever bought. But it was part of the paper share. And now I'm glad I did because I just made two really great cards with it. And I like how it turned out. So, yeah. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you that have tuned in tonight. I appreciate it so much. You make my job so much easier when you leave me a comment or you like or you share or come to class. Um, it's great. We have our technique class coming up next Tuesday. And then the following week will be our kit class. And the following week will be our Christmas card class. So this week is the only slough off week I think I have. But I am already have the technique class ready to roll. That technique is called the triangle card technique. And I'm halfway done with the kit class. So we're 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 gonna make it. It's gonna be great. I wanna thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Have a great rest of the week and thank you. Take care.